as one described this. Uh, if you've ever, all your vulnerability and all your purity and all your All your vulnerability just ripped apart. Um, all your sensitivity, all your tenderness. You know, it's like 2 a.m. in the middle of the night and you're lying in bed and you're like screaming. You're fucking screaming like crazy. You're like you're sitting there and you have a diagnosis of cancer and you go through and you're like you see what everyone else saw the you go into module L and you see all how all the people sitting in the uh, waiting room to see their oncologists all are uh, All the people sitting around you look like emaciated. They all look like they've literally been dragged through like they're they're just they're just limbs. And so you're starting your you're preparing yourself and you're emotionally ready for dealing with cancer. And in the middle of the night when your nightmare is you just can't turn your brain off and you can't sleep can't shut your fucking brain off and everything starts flooding through you like um, you feel like uh, this, this butterfly that is being ripped and thrashed around in a in a tornado where just lightning is just ripping through your skull and a sledgehammer is hit, smashing your your skull and you feel like you're cracking yourself open like an egg and frying yourself on a frying pan and all of that tenderness and all of that rage and all of that vulnerability and everything that you have that's just fucking going through you well I'm lucky enough that I I'm blessed that I got to express it and I absolutely feel that the sunshine inside of me melted my flesh and I felt completely free and infinite and everything just burned away and melted away from me and I was just pure light and love and that was part of that journey and it was part and this is one of those really difficult hard steps but cancer is an incredible gift it's not one that you wish to receive it's not one that you wish to ever you know hear of of anyone in your family or anyone that you love or a friend or any anyone but it's a part of life and I absolutely love that side of life. I have like an obsession with it and I'm not afraid of it. I actually just jump right into it and all its rawness and just completely embrace it and just take that inspiration and I feel in this piece I, I, I feel I feel and I feel complete. So, thank you for listening.